Hey, good evening, everybody. Texas Redleg here. Well, uh, looks like it's, uh, as they say in Texas, coming down to the nut cutting here um, with this Georgia runoff. And um, while I am always trying to maintain a positive vibe, I just don't know that this thing's gonna pan out the way we want it to on uh, on the good side. But nevertheless, it is what it is. Uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you think these maniacs on the left are gonna not cheat this time, when they have, when they stand to have control of all the branches, uh, because the Supreme Court will just roll over for them. That's what will happen. If they get it all, um, we will probably never, ever see the Republic the way it was again. And so, this little thing right here, I hope you've all got one. Because it's likely fixing to be trampled on like never before. And not only trampled on, but shredded. Uh, operated on. Gutted, whatever you want to call it. And... Although I think a lot of us always expected this day to come at some point, uh, I think we're still a little shocked, at least I am, that you know America has fallen to uh, this level of self-hatred and loathing by people that literally have never had to fight for anything or had to, uh, you know, debate or go through hard times. I'm not saying that just, you know, nobody grew up poor or anything like that or didn't have trouble in their life, but I mean, let's face it, this isn't the Great Depression, but you know what, we may have another one real soon. And I can tell you right now, people today are soft. There ain't no way in hell they're gonna make it through it. Those of us that have prepared, we got a hell of a chance to make it through. All right? There's going to be a lot of uncomfortability along the way. But if it comes to that, if it, uh, if it resorts to a depression or certainly a, uh, a major loss of wealth to the general public, uh, man, that's going to be a hard pill for me to swallow. Now... With regard to preps and things of that nature, um, there's a good section of, or subject to prepping that I think a lot of us overlook. And I've touched on it before in the past, but, and other people have mentioned it. So shout out to and, uh, Steve Smith over at Integrated Preparedness. He, he's touched on it recently. And then Hill Country Prepper is another guy that I like to uh, to watch and and give a shout out to. I really like his I like both those guys' channels. There's more than that. Uh, Prepper Nation, Bear Independent, um, Guns and Gadgets. Um, there's so many um, to list. But anyway, shout out to those people. And um, I, I encourage you if you're not already following them to go over and give them a try. Um, also, uh, Bamp Spike, uh, he's one of my regulars that I uh, communicate with quite quite uh, frequently. And then um, Lake, uh, Lake Ferry Prepper, too. So shout out to all those folks. Um, we're all in this together on this side. I know that. And that regarding the, the prepping um, area that I'm referring to is, is, and again, a lot of people have touched on it, is the uh, area of carrying or holding on to some cash at all times. And I don't know what the magic number is. Some people say, pull it all out. Um, you know, I'm not real comfortable with that, but, um, you know, I don't think it hurts to have some cash on hand. 
and of course if you have any precious metals things like that of course as well but I think there's a lot of uh, uncertainty here as usual as we go along um, but I think if if they take both these seats in Georgia um, I think you're gonna see some pretty widespread panic ensue and there's also gonna be a lot of anger there's gonna be a lot of um, chaos there's going to be a lot of physical um, damages in my opinion and so I would prepare yourselves for that I'm not saying I wish for it I'm just saying that I would be prepared for it it's coming to a head um, you know they keep saying there's not enough there's not enough fraud to prove, you know, that the election was stolen. Well, how do they know? Have they counted how many there are? I haven't seen the numbers. You know, if they know something we don't, they need to broadcast it and tell us how many fraudulent votes were counted. That's what we need to know. Because I don't have a problem with you beating Trump. I mean, I love Trump. I think he's a great president. I mean, he's not perfect. He's got a lot of flaws. I get it. But he was good for America. And I didn't vote for the Pope, all right? I'm sure you guys didn't either. But there seems to be this, this holier-than-thou position on the left that, you know, these people want to have this moral compass all of a sudden. But they're okay with cheating, and they're okay with killing babies. But they want to have the moral compass and the moral high ground over a guy like President Trump. So that dog ain't hunting for me, all right? They can take their moral superiority and shove it where the sun don't shine. Cause I ain't buying it. We know what they are. So, anyway, um, for, regarding the cash on hand thing, I don't know what the number is. Um, I, I agree with having some some smaller denomination bills on hand. Uh, maybe in the idea of uh, you know anything from a couple hundred to a thousand dollars, or again your precious metals, things like that on hand. Um, you know, I, I hope that we don't lose the financial system in that type of way, but hey, hell, you never know. I mean, this is 2021, and I think it's going to, uh, people keep saying, well, thank God 2020 is over. Well, I don't think you've seen nothing yet. All right, so remember to top those preps off. Keep those tanks full. Grab propane if you can, if you're not already stocked. Uh, meds, food, water all that jazz. So keep prepping, stack it deep, and always remember, long live the Republic.